we've got all of our cardboard cut 48 by 48 sheets cut down to 12 inch by 48 and we're going to start measuring these out we're going to need six of the shelf pieces and then we need four of the stanchions so we'll start measuring these out now the the bins are going to be eight inches tall by 12 inches wide so we're going to give ourselves an inch from the edge plus an eighth of an inch for the cutting blade when we measure out our next 12 inches wide plus an eighth of an inch 12 inches eighth of an inch one, two, three, four cuts. We need to measure six inches deep so we know how far not to go past when we make our cuts. So when we make our cut, we don't go past that line too much. Now when you cut the shelving pieces, you're gonna cut, when you strip these down, you're gonna have a bad side. You're gonna cut those cut the bad side in because those are going to be toward the back of the unit. And on the stanchions, the cut side is going to be toward the front of the unit. So you're going to cut the nice side of the up and down stanchions. Those give an inch. And then we're going to do every eight inches. Plus an eight. Eight inches plus an eighth. Eight inches plus an eighth. And then when you start to make your cuts, you do it at the top side of your of your thing. We're gonna mark those at six inches so we don't cut past six inches. And we're gonna take these to the to the table saw. All right, so I'm cutting my stanchions at an angle, at a nine degree angle from my blade. And I've got the blade set as high as I can so that I have the most consistent cut on this cardboard since I've stacked the cardboard up. An eighth of an inch is the, the width of the blade and I need just a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna do a blade, pull it back, and then do a half blade uh, width on the cut. And I'm only gonna cut to my six inch line. So we'll get started. All right, we have our slats cut down uh, and uh, grooved out, and we have enough for about uh, 20 uh, tops here, so this will be about half our project. Okay, so I got my shelf pieces with a straight cut. I've got my up and down stanchions with a nine degree cut. We'll go ahead and set one of these shelving pieces out.
Next step is to uh, glue every bit of it so we can put the back on. And before we put the top on, we come to the end of this thing. We're just going to pull this down so that we're straight all the way across here. We're going to do it on this side too. And then when we tack this down, we'll press this in just a little bit to make it square. Okay, we're going to set this on and use that far corner as our guide. Okay, we're going to use these tack nails. You drive it at an angle, hold it better. And press down on all these shelves. Let all that glue slide right back down and then as we build more shelves we'll stack them on top of each other just to add weight and at the very top we'll probably add a pallet or two just to make extra weight on the top. So here's our first stack. Uh, we threw a skid on top just to add a little weight to the top. So the next step is to put this crossbar on top, but we're not going to have enough room to get our glue bottle in there, so we're going to glue these edges now. I'm going to put this on. It doesn't matter if it overlaps because we're going to cut the ends off. Get flush with the front. We're just going to drop in a few finish nails at an angle. Okay, now that we've got a few of those done, we'll just turn it over and set it on top and let the glue dry. Now we have the lid glued on. Everything's uh, glued up except for the underside of these shelves. All right, we're just going to use a rip saw and, and rip the sides down. We're not worried about what it's going to look like because they're all going to be stacked together. 